Picture this. The year is 1701. The world is a vastly different place. Europe is in the throes of the war of Spanish succession, while across the ocean, the American colonies are buzzing with whispers of rebellion and independence. Societies are evolving, ideas are blossoming, and a new age is on the horizon. In this era of change and discovery, a spark of enlightenment flickers in the New Haven colony, present-day Connecticut. Amidst all this, a significant event was taking place in the New Haven colony, present-day Connecticut. In October 1701, an Act for Liberty to erect a collegiate school was passed. With this decree, the seeds of Yale University were planted. The architects of this venture were ten Congregationalist ministers, a group led by the visionary James Pierpont. Their mission? To create an institution where the youth could be instructed in the arts and sciences, a place where minds could be molded, ideas could be nurtured, and futures shaped. Picture this, a small town called Saybrook, Connecticut, where the first classes of this collegiate school were held. Yet destiny had a different plan. In 1716, a decision was made to move the school to New Haven, a city with a harbor and a heart for education. The move marked a fresh chapter for the burgeoning institution, offering it the chance to grow and flourish under the protective wings of New Haven. But it wasn't until 1718 that the institution was graced with the name, we know it by today, Yale College. The name was a tribute to Elihu Yale, a Welsh merchant and philanthropist, whose generous donation of goods helped secure the school's future. From a humble beginning as a small collegiate school to becoming a renowned global institution, Yale's journey is a testament to the enduring power of education and the pursuit of knowledge. And so, Yale University, the third oldest institution of higher education in the United States, was born. The founding of Yale University was a momentous event, with several key points worth noting. First, Yale's early years were marred by struggles. In fact, the university was initially a small, underfunded institution with a mere handful of students. Despite these challenges, Yale's founders were unwavering in their commitment to providing quality education. Secondly, Yale was established with a strong commitment to religious education. The founders who were ministers envisioned the institution as a training ground for clergy and political leaders who would uphold the religious and civil ideals of the colony. Finally, Yale's transformation into a globally recognized university is noteworthy. Over the centuries, it has evolved from its humble beginnings into a world-renowned institution, offering a diverse range of programs and attracting students from all corners of the globe. Yale University's journey from a small colonial college to a world-renowned institution is a testament to the enduring power of education.